What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. They passed Congress, the House of Representatives, that is, passed the debt ceiling deal with huh, no shortage of controversy. Uh, with over 100 people voting no, take a look here. Yeas are 314, the nays are 117. The bill is passed. Without objection, a motion to reconsider is laid on the table. Also, a little bit of controversy here uh, because of this. You can see here Kevin McCarthy, Speaker of the House, Republicans' offices, and Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries' offices are saying there was no side deal to save the debt ceiling bill. However, Previously, it was being reported here that there was a side deal. You can see here House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries quietly cut a deal for the Democrats to vote to advance the bipartisan debt ceiling deal to a final vote. According to four Democratic lawmakers briefed on the matter, and that without these votes, that it wouldn't have passed. <laughs> ah, yes. So was there a side deal? Hmm. We may never know here. But what they're saying here is that uh, the story has been updated to include denials by both offices of any deal in exchange for Democratic support. There was supposedly four Democratic sources who told Axios that the two leaders had cut a deal for Democrats to help advance the bill to the final vote. 52 Democratic votes on a measure to bring the debt ceiling deal were necessary for the bill's survival. Um, the bill was eventually approved. This was, I think, in the vote beforehand to advance it to the final stage. This was in exchange for what they believed involving boosting for federal funding for projects in Democrats' district known as earmarks for community project funding if they voted to advance the bill. But they're saying that there was no deal. So uh, who knows? They're saying, quote, there was absolutely no deal, and it's not accurate. Now, the bill is not finally passed because it now has to go to the Senate, where it will need a 60% threshold to pass, or 60 votes. So here's where it still gets a little tricky here, because we're already seeing pushback. Like, again, some Republicans and some Democrats both saying they're not going to vote for it. Senator Bernie Sanders says, no, he's not going to vote for it. And then instead, Biden should raise it himself by invoking the 14th Amendment. And a lot of Democrats are unhappy with this and um, with how much they had to give up uh, with cuts to SNAP, cuts to all sorts of things here, cuts, cuts, cuts. Republicans are unhappy as well here. You can see here Republican Senator Rand Paul is going to force a tough debt ceiling vote, an amendment vote, to cut total spending here. Yeah, Senator Rand Paul from Kentucky says he will force the Senate to vote this week on cutting total spending by 5% in each of the next two years, a proposal that could put Popular programs such as Medicare, Medicaid, and the Affordable Care Act, health care, under scrutiny in an amendment that would go and be voted on in the Senate. Paul told, uh, Senator Rand Paul told reporters on Tuesday that he would insist on a vote on his amendment in exchange for yielding back time on the Senate floor and giving leaders a chance to pass the debt limit bill before the nation faces default next week. Paul's proposal, which he is calling a conservative alternative, 
to the deal negotiated by President Biden and Speaker McCarthy poses an uncomfortable vote for Senate Republicans, one which divides their conference. A no vote opens up Republican senators to criticism from conservatives who say that policymakers who exempt mandatory spending programs from reform are not serious about balancing the budget. A yes vote risks alienating senators who are worried about seeing their Medicare benefits cut or veterans who now receive more federal aid through the mandatory spending through the PACT Act, which Congress passed last year, just a few months ago. And Rand Paul, while speaking with the reporters that day, also did not say if Social Security would be exempted either. An initial version of the story uh, was published, and a spokesperson for Paul clarified that Social Security would be exempted. Quote, his penny plan has also never specified cuts to Medicare or any program in particular. It only gives top-line numbers. When he spoke with reporters on Tuesday, Rand Paul said his plan didn't specify which programs Congress should cut to balance the budget in five years only that it would pressure lawmakers to put a range on, quote, entitlement programs to achieve $545 billion in cuts over two years. Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, the Affordable Care Act, and other health care programs account for nearly 50% of all spending uh, and are some of which are considered entitlement programs because you're entitled to the benefits, at least some of these programs, right? Um, as a result, it is very difficult to balance the budget without touching such programs. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be... Well, so first of all, Senator Mitch McConnell, um, leader of the Republicans who's been through a lot of this stuff over the years, says that... Um, Voting could be today if it's not drawn out, which it could be. Um, and even if this debt ceiling bill stuff gets through today, there's probably going to be some other stuff on, on Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid in the near future. Okay, Because remember here, if you've been watching my channel, you know that um, parts of Medicare and Medicaid, uh, yes, I'm sorry, Medi Medicare and the different parts of Medicare uh, are set to run out in like under five years. And then Social Security Trust Fund, uh, based on the latest projections, are set to run out in less than nine years. Okay. So, uh, and trust me, I, we've all paid into Social Security for most of our lives, right? I mean, each person's paid in a different amount and stuff like that. But um, if they don't do anything, it's going to run out of money at some point, okay? Um, they've already adjusted the retirement age one time. They've raised it. Uh, France just raised their retirement age, and people were unhappy. But if they don't do something, either take in more money through Social Security raise taxes, adjust the retirement age, adjust the investments, or, you know, if, I mean, if you've been watching my channel, we've gone over this here, and of course, different, <laughs> the right, the left, the center have all sorts of different ideas, uh, but if they don't do anything, which is what Congress has done for years, and they know Social Security has been in trouble, and Medicare, the, these, these different programs, if they do nothing, if they consider, continue to just bicker about it, these programs are going to run out of money, and that's going to be like the worst thing. So you can let me know your thoughts here, but they can't just leave it alone. If they leave it alone, they're going to run out of money. And then um, even the, the government is saying that could lead to a 24, I think it's 24% cut to Social Security benefits, because then Social Security would only be able to run on the money that's literally coming in by the day or by the month, so it would really... Whatever comes in, we, we would have to send immediately out because there'd be no money left in the trust funds. So 
Uh, you can let me know your thoughts on this. I will keep you up to date here on everything happening here in our country on a daily basis. So if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe down below. Click the bell icon. We'll be having a vote here on the Senate, in the Senate here on the debt ceiling soon. So make sure to subscribe down below. Click the bell icon. New videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for liking and sharing these videos. Here's some videos you should watch next. Click here to see some serious threats coming into the U.S. right now. Or you can click here to see some banned foods that you might be eating and not even know it. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next video. Say bye.